first thing I want to talk about is the beatings in Florida on, on the homeless. Um, you know, if you beat the homeless, uh, you're putting yourself more at risk of ending up homeless later on because you're you're probably going to get arrested for it. You're going to have a felony on at, to your name, uh, especially if you kill somebody. Uh, these people are human, and and you're human, and you're probably going to end up there. You, you're giving yourself a higher chance of ending up there. And what are you going to do? Just get beat up yourself? Oh, no, I'm going to fight back. Yeah, yeah. Let's see you do that. Um, just, they're human. You know, I was homeless once, too. And... Gracious, that's, that that hurts to see, you know. And uh, people that are on the streets try to find help, try to get off the streets. Um, and people that are seeing this, if if they witness this, don't uh, obviously don't try to stop them because they'll probably come after you. Uh, but make it known that you're well, maybe not even that. Uh, call the police. Just do that. Um, Wow, I want to get off that because that's a deep subject. Uh, the second one I want to talk about was shoplifting. Uh, shoplifting, uh, it, while it's always theft, um, in some circumstances I, I can see why people would do it and I probably wouldn't blame them for doing it even though if they were shoplifting for me I would probably do something about it. Um, yeah, but if you're in a dire, dire circumstance and you can't see any other way then uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, and but if you're probably gonna have to pay the consequences for it. On the other hand, if you're somebody working at a store and somebody's shoplifting from your store, and especially at a major chain, there there are I'm gonna put link uh, cases of deaths on shoplifting, and it shows both sides. It shows people that try to stop shoplifters and them dying. You know, if people are really desperate. Uh, and, and trying to do this, they're, well, and even if they're not desperate, they might end up desperate at the time because they just realize what they're doing and they're going to try to get away. Don't put your life at risk. Don't do it. If you're just a, a straight employee, if you lost prevention and it's part of your job, then, oh well. Uh, but do, if you're just a regular employee, don't put yourself at risk. Tell the person to stop, but don't stand right in front of them. Um, that's just, no, don't do that. Uh, other things, um, oh yeah, tough subjects. Uh, on shoplifting, I'm going to put a lot of links. Uh, one uh, is kind of a, a list of things that loss prevention should, should do uh, before they decide to arrest somebody for shoplifting because that's a serious thing to, to accuse somebody of shoplifting. You're, you're accusing them of theft. And I'm also going to link a story about uh, a Sacramento police uh, sergeant getting accused of shoplifting. He paid for like $64 worth of stuff, and uh, he had some razors or something that he didn't pay for that he didn't even, I don't think he even knew he had there, or that he, that he didn't pay for it, and got accused of shoplifting. So it, it can happen to anybody. You know, anybody can be accused of shoplifting. I'm going to link some other pages about false, uh, falsely being accused of shoplifting, too. And there's also one from the U.K. Um, I don't think it applies that much in the States, but it's still some helpful information. Uh, hopefully somebody can give me a link uh, to a decent uh, um, page uh, suggesting about shoplifting. Somebody needs to make a page showing which stores have a high false uh, shoplifting accusation rate um, and and people just need to straight out boycott those types of stores because if somebody's falsely accusing somebody of shoplifting that's that's false that's like false arrest that, that is false arrest uh, and by the way if somebody accuses you of shoplifting and you didn't do anything make sure they arrest you make sure that they arrest you don't sign anything um, have them call the police. Uh, don't go in the back where there's no security cameras. Uh, obviously, if they're forcing you, you can't do much. Uh, but if they are forcing you, try to make sure some of that ends up on the camera. Um, uh, don't 
don't fight it too much. Uh, don't give them an excuse to kill you because it's not their stupidity is not worth your life. Uh, and on the other hand, if you're a store uh, employee, uh, seriously, are they paying you more for that? Seriously, uh, it's not worth your life. Somebody, if, especially if somebody's really desperate. Um, and if they're really that desperate, fucking let them take the shit. Uh, it's it's not it's not on you to stop them. And you know, try to stop them by telling them not to leave, but don't stand in front of them. Ugh, I already said that. Um, and there's like a, a, a girl that uh, um, that gives advice on if you are going to shoplift, I'm going to put that down too. You know, I, I don't condone smoking anything, um, but you know, that's safer than shoplifting. Maybe you should think about doing that. And uh, if it's legal in your area, like if you're in, I don't know, the Netherlands or something, I don't know, wherever it's legal, uh, I suggest doing that. Uh, I'm also going to put a link to uh, a shoplifting scam in Bangkok, I guess, Bangkok Airport. Uh, so if you're going to a third world country, make sure you avoid uh, places that might end up doing that to you, uh, placing stuff, something in your bag and then uh, arresting you and making you pay to get out. Um, I, what else can I talk about this? Uh, there's so many stories I went through. Uh, I, I can only put so much in the under, under bra, so I'm going to put those underneath. Uh, check them out. Um, watch yourself. Uh, try to make sure that, that, that you pay for all the items, especially for these big name stores. Don't give them any excuse to suspect. Uh, they should have you on camera. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to uh, somebody that requested or wanted the camera footage of somebody that was accused of shoplifting. But unless they arrest you, uh, you're not gonna get that footage. If they arrest you, then you can get that footage because you're gonna you're gonna go to uh, if you're gonna go to court, you you have to use that. Um, but if you're not being arrested, then you're not gonna get that footage. Uh, so and if you're not arrested, then there's nothing they can do anyway. Uh, it's, but, uh, yeah, either way. Oh, yeah. But don't sign anything. Um, hell, if, even if I did do it, I wouldn't sign anything. I would wait until the police came. I, I want to be arrested by the police. Uh, go through the normal procedures. You're not judge and jury. Uh, I want to be arrested. Oh, yeah. Obviously, check the laws in your state. Check the laws in your local area. Don't be stupid. Um, be smart. Uh, watch for stores that that might falsely accuse you. Oh, yeah. Tough subject today. I, I don't even know what else to say. Anybody else have any suggestions, please uh, drop some comments. And uh, peace. <laughs> Hey, your brain light's on.